Hello guys, my name is JP. Welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Let's get to it. I'm still on my weapon quest, so let's continue with that. Let's see. Well, now you can actually see the damn target for once. Uh, over there is what we're trying to hit. So, I think I have an idea. I have a plan. Let's see if this works. Uh, I'm going to make a big one. Uh, I don't want to do this. I guess first, first and foremost, let's just build a big, big rocket, really. From now on, no jet engines. That's, that feels like it's cheating to me. And I can circle the freaking planet with a jet engine. Uh, let's see. I want a 500 on here? Yeah. Or 1500. Yes, I do. But I also want... Structural pylons. Oh, yeah. That's right, I'm going full insane here. This thing is going to hit that thing no matter what. Those cool nose. This thing's gonna be going like warp speed by the time it gets anywhere. So wherever it's gonna get, it's gonna get there fast. As far as I remember, I had this problem too. Uh, like when I would try to rotate, they would freak out. Uh, let's get some aerodynamic control. Not the best place for it, but I'll take it. Uh, and then what I wanted to do, really, I'm going to try a different approach to this. I'm able to overshoot it pretty easily. I've noticed that. So I'm actually going to purposely overshoot it. And then just drop a bomb on it. Instead of, uh... Let's see. What, what's appropriate? That's appropriate. I'm going to bomb it instead of shooting a missile at it. I'm going to drop an aerial bomb. It's going to need a big battery. Same as everything else. And its own... remote guidance unit. And a nose cone. Yeah. And some aerodynamic control on it. And that should do it. Basically how I'm going to do this is... Well, let me put this up here first. I'm going to purposely overshoot and then drop this thing. And hopefully, with these shoots, it'll work. <laughs> like, I'm only using this as, like, the payload for the bomb, not... not rocket thrust or anything. It's not supposed to be fuel, it's just a bomb. So I'm going to overshoot it, and then the second I overshoot it, I can, uh pop the whole thing. This will fly off. Uh, it'll shoot. It will parachute. So hopefully it'll slow down. And then hopefully I can actually guide it down too because it has the has these uh, flaps. The what's call it? Winglets. I can never remember the name of them. So anyways, let's just put the things on here. And we're good to go. Rocket bomb, I guess. I'm not. I didn't. It's not a plane. I probably could. I probably could make a plane that could drop a bomb. That might be. No. Well. No, because it won't let me switch in atmosphere to another. Well, it wouldn't be. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure something out for that. 
Alright, I can actually see it from here, so let me set the target. I don't think that's actually it. I think that's something else. No, that is it. Okay. Yeah, the flying car. So let's go ahead and go. Actually, if cross feed is on... So I don't need this to actually have any fuel in it. I can just keep burning it. Yeah, let me go back and fix that. Alright, it's not exactly elegant, but it should do. Well, basically, it's just going to empty this out before anything else, really, I think. Which I have no problem with. That's what I wanted to do. Is it working? Yeah, okay. That's fine. So, it's working as intended. So, basically, I just need to target it. Let's roll over so I can actually control this thing. And then basically just head straight for it. That's basically with this new with the new situation here, I want to overshoot it in very high. So I can use my fancy little uh my bomb thing. This altitude's pretty good. Oh, we're getting hot. It burns. It burns us. Oh man, we are way up here. Actually, I think I can probably take this thing down like this as a as a rocket. We Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was scary for a second. Oh, we missed this thing so bad. We dropped that far. Bad drop. Bad drop. I'm looking like swinging around. Because technically it, it should work like almost like a plane right now. No, the parachutes are messing it up. They're dragging it in the one direction. I can almost... No. Yeah, I can't turn it like this. We can try again, though, because I just, I just missed it, is what it came down to. That was my own fault. That was user error. But since this doesn't have any throttle or anything, I'll just go ahead and warp speed it. Boom. Okay, let's go to the Space Center, and I will load it up again, and I'll be right back. Alright, in theory, we're ready to try this again. This will be the second and final attempt of this, if it doesn't work. No dice. If it gets in close, I might do another one, but it's pretty unlikely. Alright, this time I want to go ahead and rotate right away. Oh god. Uh, it, it rotated randomly because I've got to turn on SAS, but it's going the right direction. So I have no problem with this. <laughs> Warp speed, man. Let's get this over with. We ain't got all day. There. Get rid of those. Keep going. Man, this is the fastest I'm ever going to get there. And I think I have enough fuel to just bomb it. Just straight missile. Yeah, I got plenty. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go full missile. I should make it. 
I'm about to run out of fuel. Can we coast there? I think we'll make it. Oh, coming in short. Way short. Almost had it. I think, if I, I think if I didn't have this nose part, and it was just straight missile, I could make it. Whee! <laughs> That's funny, I can, I can start it up and shut it down. Boom. Automatically switch me to this. And I came in almost three kilometers short. So this is too inexact to to work. It's not precise enough. Not without some kind of guidance thing. And I don't want to install a mod for that. It seems seems like cheating. You know what I can do? I can cut these stupid shoots. Cut shoot. Cut shoot. Cut shoot. Oh, I had it. Cut shoot. Wee. Boom. And that will do it for the episode. Uh, next time, like like I suggested in the beginning of the episode, I'm probably gonna try to make a plane that will maybe drop some kind of little rocket bomb. I'm also considering maybe installing the laser system again, the Romfer laser system. That I don't consider cheating because it doesn't have like a full autopilot like some of the other mods do. Yeah, with the laser system, I can like I can guide it toward the target, but I can't. It's not like full autopilot. It works for like a missile, pretty much. I can pretty much just tell it go there, and it will go straight to there. Like it won't try to avoid obstacles or anything. It'll just go straight to it. So that might work. Anyways, that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching. My name is JP, and I will see you next time with more Kerbal Space Program.